What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I do appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video. Now the Solstice of Heroes arrives as the next event to Destiny 2 on July 30th, basically the end of next month. With it, it brings some pretty special spectacular looking armor which you can see on screen now today guys i'm going to guide you through how you earn every piece of armor this event will offer each character titan hunter and warlock will have three sets of armors each obviously you'll start with commons and you'll upgrade them to rares and then you'll upgrade them to legendaries like we've seen in the past but let me tell you something people, the grind to get these is going to be a little harsh because some of the actual things you have to do to obtain them is a little steep to say the least. So let's check them out. But actually before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like it really does help out and I do appreciate that support. But let's go. Okay, so there are three sets of arms each. The common is called Drained, the Rare is called Renewed, and the Legendary is called Majestic. And we're going to start with the Warlock, and we're going to start with the Drained set. This is the common set. For the Hood, which is a helmet, complete run through the European Aerial Zone, land precision final blows, and defeat Cabal Combatants. Now the European Aerial Zone is that place you see floating on the EDZ. Okay, so for the gloves, the gauntlets, you need to complete playlist strikes, collect elemental orbs of any type in any activity, and defeat opposing guardians in Crucible or Gambit. For the robes, which is the chest piece, complete adventures, collect orbs in the Crucible or Gambit, and unlock Solstice packages. For the boots, the leg armors, loot chests in the European Aerial Zone, collect solar orbs in strikes and defeat enemies in the European Aerial Zone while equipped with a void subclass. And for the bond, the class item, complete public events on Nessus, complete sources of heroes bounties and complete crucible or gambit matches. Okay, so moving on to the rare renewed armor set. Hood, defeat enemies in strike playlists using a subclass that matches the Arc Kill, Solar Kill or Void Kill Day. Collect elemental orbs of any type in the European Aerial Zone and defeat mini bosses in the European Aerial Zone. Gloves, complete bounties, collect elemental orbs using a matching Arc Kill, Solar Kill, Void Kill subclass. And as a team, defeat opposing guardians in the Crucible or Gambit using solar weapons. For the robes, complete gambit matches, complete daily or weekly challenges, and defeat enemy combatants with void weapons. The boots, complete heroic public events, collect solar orbs in any strike, and defeat hive combatants using a subclass that matches the arc, solar, or void day. The bond, complete patrols on titan, loot chests in the European aerial zone, and land arc super final blows on opposing guardians in the crucible or gambit. The majestic, this is the legendary set, the set you can see on screen now looking pretty badass. The hood, complete a prestige nightfall with a score of 200,000 or better. Gloves, complete playlist strikes with clan mates. Robes complete the dungeon Shattered Throne in the Dreaming City with a fire team of two or less players. Wow. Boosh, reset your season 7 Valor ranking in the Crucible and Bond, defeat challenging combatants throughout the solar system. Damn, 200k Nightfall. I mean, it isn't too hard. I'm sure we'll get there in the end. The Shattered Throne, two man in this or less. Wow, and reset in your Season 7 Valor rank in PvP. If you don't play PvP, I mean, that's quite a grind. Now, I ain't gonna bother reading through exactly what you need for the Titan and Hunter. I mean, it's relatively the same as what it is for the Warlock. I mean, there's a few things changed in terms of looting chests on different planets, but you'll see them on screen now if you are curious to know what they are for the Hunter and the Titan. But the grind here is absolutely craziness, people. Especially if you wanna get this for all three characters too, which I know a lot of you people out there like to do. That's just absolutely nuts. I'm definitely gonna start on my Hunter. I mean, because look at armor i mean look at them wolverine gauntlets i need them in my life but yeah guys the solstice of heroes 2019 lands on july 30th and these are what you will have to do to unlock said armors this event offers the grind is real for sure but on that note guys we have come to the end of the video tell me what you think about this down below within that comment section do you think they've gone a little bit over the top of the grind needed for some of these let me know but on that note guys i am out i hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully i will see you on that next one